What's up everybody, this is Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. I'm gonna do kind of a makeshift video for you as a follow-up to my last week's video. I apologize, I'm driving, I'm trying to kill some time, so I figured I'd make a video for you guys. So, last week we talked about lowering temperatures. Uh, I was gonna do it about one degree per week. Now we're on the second week, and I'm beginning to feel for follicles in the female snakes. How I like to do that is I take the snake, I hang it over my bin, uh, you can hang it over a dresser drawer, out of her aquarium, anything like that, pull up bar, whatever it might be, something so that the snake is hanging over one side and its body is draping. About halfway to two thirds of the way down the snake is where you're gonna start to feel. So I start about halfway down, I put my thumbs over their back, so in the stomach is in my, in my fingers. I'll usually use my index fingers to feel and I'll just slide my hands down the snake's body. You'll feel five, six, seven uh, marble or golf ball size lumps if there's follicles. That's really the size when I can feel them. If you have an ultrasound machine, you can feel them when they're a little smaller, you know, to eight to 10 millimeters, but right now I don't have an ultrasound machine, so I'm just feeling for follicles. Generally, in my, with my experience is when one of my females has it, the other ones either have them or they're starting to develop them. So that's a good indication to me that it's time to start pairing males with the females. I started pairing some males last night. I paired probably 10 or 15 snakes or 10 or 15 females with the male last night. When you do that, I kind of think, what do I want to make? What snakes will mix good with others? Maybe you two, uh, maybe you have two snakes that you purchased as a pair and that's the, that's the pair you want to keep it with. So if the female has those follicles, the male should start breeding within 24 hours or so of introduction. So I did that last night. I checked on some snakes. Some of them, there were some breeding activities. The males were on the females. Uh, other ones, they didn't have any activity. So they might not have follicles. I'll feel them again. If they do have follicles and you have a lazy male, I might take another male, put it in with that male. Because I don't want, because I have my pairs separated, I. I might just take the two males and put them together in a in a in a cage in a cage overnight. Um, just let them kind of battle it out. They should smell the females. They're not going to hurt each other. And then I'll take the male that I want, put him back in with the female, and generally that'll stimulate the breeding activity in the male. If you do have a lazy male, um, if not, there's some other things you can do, like put them put them in with some sheds and stuff like that. But for the most part, if the female is ready to breed, if she has follicles and they're big enough, she should be giving off the right pheromones that are gonna make the male wanna breed. So if you are questionable whether your female has follicles and your male's not breeding, feel the female again, because she may not be ready and that might be sending the male kind of a mixed signal. So this is the steps. Again, I'm gonna continue lowering temperatures one degree per week till my hot spot's around 88, my cool end's around 78. Don't really want my cool end going much lower than 78 degrees. I've had bad luck with that when I drop it into lower temperatures, they can start getting respiratory infections. So I try to keep my temperatures pretty high, but I do feel that temperature difference is important to keep the breeding season going, to stimulate that follicle growth, to stimulate the breeding activity amongst the males and the females. And uh, we'll just kind of keep it going from there. So throughout the whole season, I'm gonna repeat this process, continue filling females for the follicles, making sure that the males are breeding and um, that's what we're gonna keep doing. So hopefully this video was somewhat helpful to you guys. I apologize for the shit light and, and doing it while I'm driving, but I'm trying to take advantage of the time I have here and uh, hopefully you guys got some use out of this. So if you did, leave me some comments. If you didn't, leave me some comments. Continue to follow. Check out my website. I have a couple more snakes that I'm updating. I haven't got around to doing that this week, but um, I'm hopefully gonna have it done in the next couple days. www.jasonsexoticreptiles.com and we'll keep things going. So I appreciate it again. Thanks.